before we start learning, come see my Discord server. It's a cool spot to get smart and ready for coding contest. In addition, I've got some bots that pick just the right problem for you to solve. Check out the link in the description. And let's get better at coding together. Now let's start. We will start with the first problem, destroying bridges. So where are n islands? Number from 1 to n. And uh, every pair of these islands is connected by a bridge. So we have one person that lives in the island number 1. And she, they want to visit other islands use these bridges. But uh, there is another one that have the power to destroy cave bridges and they want to minimize the number of islands that have the first person can reach by using these bridges. So we, our task is to find the minimum number of islands that Avaru here can visit if Dominator destroys bridge optimally. Yeah. So for this problem, uh, for example, uh, this is the case with n is equal to two, right? So there are one bridges here, and if we break this bridge, break. So we will only can we will have this graph and we only can visit not num island number one. But if k is equal to zero, so we cannot break this island. So we can visit two island. And uh, this is our uh, so what is the formula? I think the formula is k is larger or equal to n minus 1 because this is the number of bridge that connect to uh, islands number 1 I, I, will, I will show it to you okay so uh, this is n is equal to 4 and we have 3 bridges so and so on yeah so what if k is larger or equal to n minus 1 so our answer is 1 but if not our answer is n because we always have the way to visit all islands okay so this is my code i check if k is larger or equal to n minus 1 and i print one otherwise i will print n okay so this is the end of the first problem okay now we come with the second problem equal solve um, in this problem we are given an array a with length 2n and it consisting each integer uh, from 1 to n exactly twice so 1 1 2 2 3 3 whatever and we also get given an integer k and k is smaller or equal to n, n divided by 2 and our task is to find two arrays l and r in each of length 2k such that l is a subset of a1 a2 to an and r is a subset of a to n plus 1 a n plus 2 to a to n so and uh, the bit wise sort of elements in L is equal to the bit wise sort of elements of two. In other words, uh, L one bit wise is sort with L two sort until L two k is equal to R sort with R one sort until R two k. Okay, so how can we solve this problem? Okay, just like let uh, make a uh, example example with this one so uh, in this problem like uh, 1 2 2 1 
I I I will make a uh, array. One two two one. So um. My first thought is to solve this with uh the index. So index with this is one, uh two, three four. Yeah, I solved it, and I will get one in the index one, uh, one in the index four, uh, two in the index two, and three in two in the index three. Yeah, so if L saw L two saw L three up to L n is equal to uh, is L two k R one R two saw until R two k. So we can change something and it will become L one saw. R one, oh, no no no, L L one saw L two, saw L three, saw until L two K, and saw with R one saw R two, saw until R two K, right? And it's equal to zero. <laughs> so here we will try to dip dip. We will try to duplicate the element in the array to make it become zero. So we would don't need to think about it, right? Because saw uh, x saw x is equal to zero. Yeah. So in this element here, I will try to fit uh, another element in uh, the second array. So I will check uh, if is in the same size like uh, if we have one one two two array right so these two one is in the same size so i will put it in the first array and uh, i will put two two in the second array because they also in the same size too so what if they aren't in the same size so if they aren't in the same size and uh, uh, our vector is not is um, missing some element so we will add one by one we will add this to the first array and then we add this one to the second array uh, also for this one yeah and I will, we will get our first array is one two and the second array is one two yeah and so this is my code uh, I short it and I use two vector that define the first array and the second array if they are in the same size but uh, the first array size is smaller than 2k so I push two elements in the first array or uh, if they in the same size but in the right side so I check with the second array and I push two of them to the second array so and I run it again to check they are in the opposite side so I add it one by one and I print out the array okay so this is the 